So something unique about the diagnosis of autism is it actually can be made throughout the lifespan. You know, it, I think there's a misnomer that it's only diagnosed in young kids or in children, but in fact, it can be diagnosed at any point in a person's life, if at any point the symptoms were present. So common misperception is, oh, if my child was diagnosed later, like when they were a teenager, or if it's a young adult and they're diagnosed for the first time with autism, that it's a less severe presentation. It's not really helpful to think of it in severity level. I think it's more helpful to think of it as it's just like when they were younger, the needs weren't as present. The child was able to, or the young adult was able to function in society in a level that wasn't distressing or concerning. But maybe this now young adult is off to college and romantic relationships are on his or her mind and they keep failing at them. And they're like, I wonder why I can't like have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And they go to a psychologist and they, you know, they do a full assessment and they're like, oh, well, you have a problem with social emotional reciprocity. So you keep going on for states that go nowhere because you're not really meeting the person emotionally where they're at. And their eyes are open to them. When they think back, they notice really subtle cues that maybe weren't as obvious or potentially no one knew about, um, you know, as time goes on, we as a field, people that work with autism have gotten better at identifying it, but better only recently. And I just mean like the last like five years. So that means people who are in their 20s, 30s, that was, this wasn't around. You know, we didn't have the ability to diagnose really early when they were two, three, five. So it's not that something's less severe if it gets diagnosed later, it's more like it maybe didn't present in a way that was recognized as autism when they were young.